Hey guys, it's Final Master Link. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Uh, I'm kind of recording this at a strange time. I normally do not record this late at night. But it's actually about 12.30 in the morning on, uh, well, technically it's Sunday. And, uh, you know, I just thought I'd do a couple of... Well, maybe not a couple worlds, maybe... Hmm. Oh, well, there is one thing I could probably do in this recording, is I could probably take on, um... One of the absent silhouettes, but I do want to do this world. Well, can't... The thing with this world is... I'm going to... What is it? Atlantica or whatever it is. You know, based off the Little Mermaid the movie. The thing, with, the thing with this world is there actually isn't any fighting in it. Instead, there's like a like a recurring sort of mini game you have to go through in order to uh, proceed with like the story. It's kind of dumb to be honest, but it is it, it is fairly easy. And I, I do actually find it a little bit more fun than this uh, than the gummy ship missions. Oh, you fucker. I actually was uh, talking to Funky G a couple days ago. I was kind of getting on him about... He never actually went through... <clears throat> like, when he played Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix last year, he never actually, like, beat the... Like, the data battles, or he never beat the uh, secret boss of the game either. And he was on standard mode, and he was actually even level 99. He had all the maximum... Uh, Levels for all the forms and summons, he even had the ultimate weapon. So I I really don't know why he couldn't be bothered to to, you know, beat him. I mean, yeah, I know he's hard, but you know, you get you know, you gotta get good. And, and this is the same guy that's been playing like the Dark Souls games and I think I actually watched him play some of uh what is it? Bloodborne. Yeah, I think I watched him some I think I watched some of his blood Bloodborne stream for a little bit of advice on a couple of bosses. Uh, more of these fuckers here. You know, if anything, doing this, it, it makes it pretty easy to talk about whatever. This is kind of a mindless minigame, in my opinion. Especially if you have the uh, auto fire on like I do. I don't have a single... I can't think of a single reason why I would have the semi-auto fire on instead of the auto fire. Oh, you fucker. Fucking donuts of death, that's what I like to call those rings. Uh, so next week I should probably be done with uh, streaming Last Guardian. Oh, got a rare enemy here. I do want to take him down. There we go. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to stream next. I... Actually, what I really ought to do is, uh, I have been kind of getting the urge to start, like, a little side series. Um, because I'm kind of running out of games to talk about on, like, Recall Thursday. Uh, at least in, at least for, uh, what do I want to call it? At least for, like, certain generations, you know, like Game Boy Advance and, uh, Game Boy Color and... I mean, maybe I could do, like, a DS game or something. I mean, technically, I could do one on a couple of PC games. Although, I I haven't really played a lot of PC games in my past to really kind of justify that. I mean, I've actually been straight playing uh, Stronghold Crusader a lot recently. But the thing is, I'm really shit at that game, so it's it, it takes me fucking forever just to get through one mission. And then when I look it up, you know, it's like, oh, you know, the, the guy who here is playing on, like, the maximum speed of the game. And, you know, in real time, since he's playing so fast and knows exactly what he's doing and he's played it, you know, he's had a lot of experience with the game itself and the mechanics. You know, you can get through a certain map in, say, a half hour. Me, it'd take me over an hour. Maybe even an hour 20. It just, it just depends. 
Uh, RTS games are not my thing, not one bit. But I, I could do a recall Thursday on that because I actually did play Stronghold, Cru Stronghold Crusader when I was a kid. I borrowed it from a friend of mine for like a year and eventually gave it back. I don't even know if it was his. I think it might have been his, uh, his parents. All right, so in we're in Atlantica, Atlanta, Atlantica, whatever. The sky is so beautiful right after a storm. <gasps> what would I give to live where you are? What would I pay? To stay here beside you, what would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could stay all day in the sun, just you and me, and I could be <sighs> part of your Rescued me. Her voice. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Oh, uh, hi there. To forget how to swim already? Kinda, I guess. Then you boys got to practice. You follow Flounder. He'll show you what to do. Come on, Sora. You can do it. So, yeah. In sort of a... I guess you'd call it a recap. It's going to teach you how to... How to move underwater. The thing is, you don't really need to know a whole lot about it. Because what you can do is you can hold R1 and just kind of swim towards whatever you want to lock on. Okay, yeah, Flounder wanted me to speak to him. Where is he? Okay, yeah, so that's Dolphin Kick. If, if you're not locking onto something, you can just swim. And then the right analog stick, you can go up or down that way and turn the camera left or right. So to actually move, you know, left analog stick, as you might expect, there's a crown symbol out there. Uh, there are... I mean, the ones in this world are pretty easy. You act, Technically, there are only, like, what, two areas to this whole world. Kind of stupid, but... I mean, you want to talk about a downgrade. Uh, isn't there another one? I thought maybe there was a chest or something underwater you can grab, but I guess not. Uh, let's talk to Donald and Goofy first. If you want to talk to someone, choose a single creature to swim to. Well, no shit. We can move up and down too. It takes some getting used to. Yeah. What does Ariel have to say? Okay. Yeah, I already explained you can do that. That's much better. Now, Den, what brings you three into the sea? Is something else wrong? 
kind of. But everything, everything seems peaceful. Oh, everything's fine as long as Daddy's in a good mood. God damn, dude. Hey, we gotta say concert very soon. Why don't you sing in my musical extravaganza? I'm trying to sound like Jamaican. I mean, that's essentially what he sounded like in the movie. Please say yes. Ariel's been acting strange lately. But she might settle down and practice if you're a dad, too. That sounds fun. Let's give it a shot. Excellent. Now then, I teach you everything you need. It's easy. I don't know why they made him sound Jamaican. I never understood that when I watched the movie. So, basically, they turned this entire world into a musical. Uh, yeah. Don't know why. So, basically how it works is it wants you to tap a button at a particular time. And if you, if you go, like, to the, like, smallest amount that you have to press the button, you know, it'll be an excellent. Whether, and if you get it pretty good, it'll just say good, but if you totally fuck up, it'll be bad. Now, the point is to get as many good or excellence as possible. Although, preferably, excellence is what you want, which isn't even that hard. Like, this is the exact same, like, difficulty or whatever, no matter what mode you're on, so there's really no excuse to not being able to do this. Well, see, I kind of fucked up a little bit there. At least I got it, though. Yeah, not not just Sora can do it, too. Donald and Goofy also go in the mix here. There, I actually got an excellent. I think if you do a good with Donald, I think he just kind of twirls around. So one thing that's kind of interesting is, uh, depending if the an animation is bad, good, or excellent, it'll have, like, a different, uh, animation going on for the character. And I'm going to dance with Ariel. I, I, you know, I, I certainly obliged to that. I, I always thought she looked older than what she actually was, like, in the film. I think in the film she was 16. She looks older, if you ask me. I mean, it doesn't help she's wearing uh, lipstick like she's going on a hot date or something. Alright, get some bubbles burst in here. Alright, so that was that. Pretty fucking easy. There's much more, though. Oh, is there more? That's all there is to it. Gosh, I don't know. Anytime you want to sing in a musical masterpiece, you just come and see me. Understandably, we got a map, but kind of pointless. Like I said, there's only like three sections to this whole game. Oh, really? We have to go to the musical? Fuck. There is a puzzle piece, like, in the actual, like, city, but we don't have access to it right now, so let's talk to Sebastian about it. Let's give the musical a try, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, chapter one, swim this way. Now, I'm gonna kind of shut up because the songs are actually pretty decent, so I'm gonna kind of shut up when I'm doing these. And so, the goal here is to get, uh, oh, what is it, five or six excellent notes out of this whole thing. So, oh yeah, a note will disappear for every bad performance, so you don't want to fuck up too much. So that's, that's the goal here. It's not that hard. Let the music move you. You can do it. Don't be shy. Let the music inside you dance, dance, dance. See, you can do it. Swim this way, we'll dance and we'll play. Now it's very easy. Come on and just take a chance and shake it. Watch the stage now. How exciting! See the sign and reach it in time and tap, tap, tap. And if you can't reach the target, use magic. It's all the same if you've got steady aim. Just ah, oh, fuck balls. 
I guess no magic there. to have a lot of finny fun. Yeah, boy. We sure had a lot of finny fun with that song, didn't we? One thing that's... Sora, you eh. are amazing. Hey, I want to see more lights. Your Majesty, we have visitors. King Triton. I certainly hope there hasn't been a need to use that keyblade of yours. No, nope, everything's fine. Not a heartless in sight. Your Majesty, our guests, they want to sing in the musical. Well, that sounds like a splendid idea. We may need your help after all. You see, I'm afraid Ariel's still infatuated with the human world. A busy rehearsal schedule might be just the thing she needs to stop thinking about life up on the surface. Huh. Okay. Just join in huh? the song, a musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. That's the voice I heard. I'm sure of it. Hello? Where are you hiding? I know you're the girl who saved me. Please, come out so I can thank you. So did her singing voice actually travel that far, or was she there hiding to sing? I don't, I don't know. Ariel. That girl's acting strange again. Probably been flitting around on the surface. Oh, the Sea King's gonna have my class for this. Come on, we gotta keep rehearsing. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like it. It's a nice way of saying fuck off, Sora. Oh, Sebastian? You do? I know how to cheer Ariel up. Come on, follow me! What, what I find s sort of strange is King Triton's like, oh man, she's been infatuated with the human world. Has he forgotten the fact that Sora's a human too? Oh, that's interesting. That must have been the ship that, uh that uh, sank in the actual movie. Oh no, this must be from the human world. I found it after that storm, and I bet it's from a shipwreck. Don't you think Ariel's gonna love it? Yeah, probably. But if the Sea King finds out about this, it's better than going to the surface. Come on, help me move it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So, basically what'll happen 
is unless you save this world for the very end of the of the story it's going to be divided into different episodes and you need certain abilities um, or powers in order to proceed to the next episode so basically it's going to cock block you so right now we need the magnet magic to move that statue and I believe I don't think it'll show up actually until we clear the it's <laughs> I mean technically the world is like right here but it's blocked but I think we get it from that world the uh, the magnet magic so yeah so with that being done I think now would actually be a good time to <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to remember if the I'm trying to remember if I can actually go to yeah yeah okay there's a there's a tournament so we're gonna go to that now I'll probably put in another part uh, I'm trying to remember which I want to say it's in this location is where the tournament is <laughs> 